Sweet! Yummy! to make a different cake instead. Oh, wow!
Let's start the day with a rainbow cake. Beautiful.
Wow, I love it. Delicious. Join me to bring back the rainbow. I will mix a milk, cooking oil, sugar, and flour together. Blueberry jam here and continue mixing. and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After all, I spread blue frosting all over the cake. And smooth it evenly. I will pipe buttercream to create a rainbow shape on the top of the cake. Don't forget the clouds. Look more like the sky with these star-shaped sprinkles. It looks so pretty. I love it. Let's go out quickly. Now is the time to make a cake. First, I will mix flour, cocoa powder, and cornstarch together. Next, I add egg, milk, cooking oil, and sugar to this mixture. this white chocolate bar. Spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. Next, I add 
I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After all, I spread chocolate frosting all over the cake. And smooth it evenly. Pour melted white chocolate around the edge of the cake and let it flow down the cake body. I also pipe the swirls of chocolate buttercream around the edge of this cake. I spread sprinkles into a heart shape on top of the cake. Complete this cake with heart sprinkles attached to the cake body. Wow. It looks so pretty. I love it. Big enough for you too. Firstly, I will cut and melt this Kit Kat bar. To make a cake, I need to mix egg, milk, cooking oil, sugar, and flour together. Melted Kit Kat here and keep mixing. Now, I put butter, sugar, and whipping cream together to make butter cream. Coloring here to have rainbow buttercream. Wow, they look so beautiful. I spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. Place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After that, I pipe wavy lines of rainbow buttercream from the base to the top of the cake. And smooth them evenly. Next, I pour melted chocolate around the cake edge.
and arrange the fondant balls round it, too. Finally, I spread red sprinkles in the center of the cake. Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty! Tasty! Sweet! Yummy!
Tasty. Sweet. Yummy. Wow, I love it. No, no, it belonged to me. <gasps> no. I will make the heart myself. Tasty. Sweet. Yummy. Hi, buddy. Help me to make cake batter, please. Wow, so magical. Melted chocolate will be the last ingredient for it.
Spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After all, I spread chocolate frosting all over the cake. And smooth it evenly. I continue to spread chocolate frosting on the top and bottom of the cake body. And press gently to set it in place. I place a smaller one above this cake. I put sprinkles to the middle space of the cake body. I place heart sprinkles on the cake body of the second tier like this. Next, I pipe dots of rainbow buttercream around the base of the first tier. Finally, I stick the fondant rainbow and clouds onto the top of the cake to finish it. Delicious! Tasty! Good job, Tom! <laughs> you and you, get out of my house!
tasty. Sweet. Yummy. Oh, there are many eggs here. I will choose one to make a cake. I choose this egg. Do you like it? Firstly, I will mix egg, milk, cooking oil, vanilla, and sugar together. flour, cocoa powder into the cake batter and keep mixing. rainbow fondants in the fridge. Next, I place each block of fondants on the cutting board. Break it into small pieces. And shape them into fondant balls. Spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After all, I spread white frosting all over the cake. And smooth it evenly. Then, I pour green, yellow, and red melted chocolate on the top of this cake. Also pipe dots of white buttercream on all edges and sides of the cake. After that, I arrange rainbow fondant balls around the cake body. I insert a twisted rainbow with fondant onto the top of the cake. Don't forget adding the clouds with buttercream. Finally, I spread sprinkles onto the buttercream on the edges and sides of the cake. Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty! Oh, let's see! Amazing! No, no, it's broken!
Okay, please put it outside the door for me. Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty! hungry. Go home to find something to eat. Oh no, there is nothing left. I will have to make myself something to eat. Firstly, I will mix egg, milk, cooking oil, vanilla, and sugar together. flour, cocoa powder into the cake batter and keep mixing. rainbow fondants in the fridge. Next, I place each block of fondants on the cutting board. Break it into small pieces. And shape them into fondant balls. Spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. 
After all, I spread purple frosting all over the cake. And smooth it evenly. Oh, they're the same color as the cake, so now I won't need them anymore. Now, I arrange rainbow fondant balls around the cake body. Then, I pour white melted chocolate over the top of the cake. And let it drip a little down the body. I insert a twisted rainbow onto the top of the cake. Finally, I place a fondant sun on the base of the rainbow. Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty! Tasty! Sweet! Yummy! Wow, 
orange. Thank you, it's so fresh. Delicious! Oh luckily, I needed to make a cake. Let's get started now. To make a cake, I need to mix egg, milk, cooking oil, and sugar together. I also add flour, cocoa powder here and keep mixing. super simple way to make buttercream. Let's whip butter, sugar, whipping cream together. Next, 
I pour melted chocolate into this buttercream bowl. These two types of buttercream will create another buttercream with a beautiful light brown color. I spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After all, I spread chocolate frosting all over the cake. And smooth it evenly. Then, I pipe dots of brown, light brown, and white buttercream. Then swipe them to the right to get this effect on the cake body. Finally, I place mandum candies onto the top of this cake. so pretty. I love it. Please help me give it to my friend. Hello. Thanks for your help. Firstly, I melt these Kit Kat balls. egg, milk, cooking oil, sugar, and flour together. I also add melted Kit Kat here and keep mixing. for a long time. Now, it's time to use them to decorate my cake today. I will roll the fondant blocks into long, thin strands like this. I spread the bottom layer with chocolate frosting and add the first layer on. Place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After all, I spread chocolate frosting all over the cake. And smooth it in this way. Next, I arrange rainbow fondant strands around the cake body. Cover the surface of this cake with Kit Kat balls. It looks so pretty. I love it. Oh, be careful! Oh no! It's broken! 
I will make a cake with this. delivered already. With these two items, can you guess what kind of cake I will make? Firstly, I need to break and melt this white chocolate bar. I add some food coloring here to have rainbow melted chocolate. Wow, they are so pretty. to making the cake batter. I mix egg, milk, cooking oil, and sugar together. Then, I also add flour, cocoa powder here and keep mixing. Layer on. 
I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. I spread white frosting around the cake. After that, I press gently to set it in place. Next, I arrange these rainbow chocolate bars around the cake base. I pour melted chocolate on the top of this cake and let it flow down the cake body. Finally, I place a rainbow and colorful clouds with fondant on the cake surface. It looks so pretty. I love it. Wow, did you help me? I will make a cake to thank you. Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty!
Wait a minute, I'll come out now. Oh, my chocolate is delivered already. Let's start making a cake. Firstly, I will cut and melt this chocolate bar. starch together. I also pour egg, milk, cooking oil, and sugar here to make the cake batter. will be melted chocolate. I spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. I spread white frosting around the cake. After that, I press gently to set it in place. I place a smaller one above to have a two-tier cake. Then, I pour rainbow melted chocolate on the top of the second cake tier. Now, I pipe rainbow-colored buttercream into diagonal patches around the top body of the first cake tier. pipe rainbow colored buttercream around the edge of the first cake tier. The top of this cake will be decorated with dots of white buttercream. Finally, I spread sprinkles around the cake base. so pretty. I love it. Hi everyone. Choose a cake with me to make today. Um. Um. I choose this one. Coming. Hello. Hello. I delivered the goods to you. Oh, thank you.
Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty! <laughs> oh no, you're so bad! Look, this is a magic balloon. If you explode it, it will turn into a gift. Wow, so amazing! Let's make a cake with me. Firstly, I will melt this chocolate bar. Next, I mix egg, milk, cooking oil, sugar, and flour together. After that, I pour the freshly melted chocolate into the cake batter and mix them up. Next, I'll move on to making rainbow bows with fondant. Cut the fondant into a strip. Fold the two ends into a bow shape. I spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. Place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. I spread white frosting around the cake. After that, I press gently to set it in place. Then, I wrap the cake body with rainbow fondant strips. and attach a corresponding colored bow to each strip. Finally, I place the chocolate balls covered by sprinkles on top of the cake to complete the decoration. Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty! Why not try making a cake decorated with a teapot?
Tasty! Sweet! Yummy! Wow! So amazing! It inspires me to make a cake right now. First, I will boil the fruit jams with milk, sugar, and gelatin powder. Pour the fruit jelly into the straws and let them cool. Firstly, I mix egg, milk, cooking oil, and sugar together. Cocoa powder here and keep mixing. Place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. I spread white frosting around the cake. After that, I press gently to set it in place. Next, I wrap the jelly strands around the cake body in rainbow color order. clouds with fondant on the top of this cake. It looks so pretty. I love it. What should I draw now? You're so naughty. Come. Get out. But these lines are quite interesting. They will appear on my cake today. Firstly, 
I mix egg, milk, cooking oil, and honey together. Also add flour, cocoa powder here and keep mixing. Roll out the fondant blocks. And cut them into pieces like this. I spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. I spread chocolate frosting around the cake. After that, I press gently to set it in place. Next, I arrange the fondant pieces around the cake body in rainbow color order. Then, I pipe swirls of rainbow buttercream around the edge of the cake. At the end, I insert a rainbow on the top of this cake. Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty! Make a cake like this.
Delicious. Tasty. Thank you. Hey, Tom, watch my performance. It's time to make a cake. Delicious. Tasty. Let's see if I can hit the basket. Hooray! To celebrate, I will make a basketball cake right now. To make a cake batter, I mix egg, milk, cooking oil, sugar, and flour together. Because I want the cake batter to have the same color as a basketball, I will add orange marmalade here.
Making a basketball with fondant is not difficult. First, I will shape the orange fondant into a round shape. Then, roll the black fondant into thin strands. Finally, I wrap the black fondant strands around the orange fondant like this. I spread the bottom layer with dark red frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After that, I spread dark red frosting all over the cake. And smooth it evenly. Next, I wrap a blue fondant strand around the cake edge. Then, I pipe white buttercream into successive V-shaped lines on the body of the cake to create the basket. Now, I place the basketball with fondant on the top of the cake. I also insert a whiteboard with fondant behind the basketball. And insert basketball legend Michael Jordan's jersey number 23 on the front. It looks so pretty. I love it. How can I get the plane down? Ah, I get a new idea. I will mix egg, milk, cooking oil, and sugar together. I also add flour, cocoa powder, cornstarch into the cake batter and keep mixing. Place the fondant blocks one by one on the cutting board and roll it thin. After that, cut it into a parallelogram shape. Then, cut the parallelogram in half to get two triangles. at both ends of the cake sponges to form one small trapezoid and one large trapezoid. I spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After that, I spread chocolate frosting all over the cake and smooth it evenly. I arrange the triangle pieces on the cake body on the front and back sides in the rainbow color order. I 
arrange the brown fondant balls on the remaining empty parts of the cake. Wow! So beautiful! Hey, why didn't I see this ladder here before? Good jobs, Nick and Milo. I will make something delicious for you guys. <coughs> Firstly, I chop watermelon, orange, mango, and avocado one by one on the cutting board. Then, I put them in the blender one by one to get the juices. To create the blue color, I soak dried butterfly pea flowers in hot water. And create the purple color by squeezing a few drops of lime here. Boil the milk with the gelatin powder and sugar until they become a sticky mixture. I pour the gelatin mixture into the juice bowls and stir them well. After that, I pour jelly mixture into these two molds one by one in rainbow color order. It looks so pretty. I love it. This is a magical gift. Let's try it. Oh, Mandem Candy. A lot of Mandem Candies. Wow, so amazing. Let's make a cake with Mandem Candies now. Firstly, I mix egg, milk, cooking oil, and sugar together. I also add flour and cocoa here. Next, I take the melted white chocolate out of the microwave. 
and put random candies here to have rainbow melted chocolate. After that, I pour them into a heart shaped mold. I spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layers over the frosting. After that, I spread white frosting all over the cake and smooth it evenly. Aha! Today's cake is a two-tier one. Then, I arrange the rainbow fondant balls around the body of the first tier. I also arrange the brown fondant balls around the body of the second tier. Finally, I insert this rainbow heart chocolate on top of this cake. Wow! I love it! Delicious! Tasty! Oh no, what happened? Where are my clothes? Hmm, will my clothes appear if I do something with these mandem candies? Today, the cake mixture seems heavier than I thought. so pretty. I love it. So I guessed right. It is truly a magical washing machine. I have to start baking right now. 
Please go out and help me buy some sprinkles. Okay. Firstly, I mix flour, egg, milk, sugar, and cooking oil together. completed my task. Now, I will melt some white chocolate. coloring here. Wow, rainbow melted chocolate. Spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After that, I spread chocolate frosting around the cake and smooth it evenly. I place a smaller cake above, so I have a two-tier cake today. I arrange the chocolate bars around the first cake tier in rainbow color order. Next, I pipe swirls of chocolate buttercream around the edge of the second cake tier. Then I attach sprinkles into a heart shape on the cake like this. Tasty! <laughs> My order has arrived. Let's start making a cake now. Firstly, I mix egg, milk, cooking oil, and sugar together. Also add flour and cocoa powder here. Now, continue mixing. Fondants in the fridge. 
I will roll the fondant blocks into thin threads. And create a twisted rainbow. I spread the bottom layer with white frosting and add the first layer on. I place the remaining cake layer over the frosting. After that, I spread rainbow lines of frosting around the cake and press gently to set them in place. Next, I pour melted chocolate on the top. I also place the rainbow in the middle of the top. Don't forget the clouds with buttercream. A few sprinkles are the last decoration for this cake. Wow, I love it! Delicious! Tasty!